What are your thoughts on loan level price adjustments that are going to be happening on May 1st? Start us off, Steve. Well, I think it's great. Uh, I think it's going to be awesome for everybody, right? I mean, it's really about time that the middle class pays their fair share, right? Like, we're tired of the poor people having to carry the country. So, right, now we're going to shift it up. And because the poor have had gas and eggs and everything else become more expensive, they can't afford it, including cigarettes. It's about time we pass that cost onto the middle class. Because you know who's not paying this LLPA? Rich people who are buying houses cash. So the only people being penalized by this are the middle class. So, yeah, I think it's great. Screw the middle class. I think this is the way to go. <laughs> Outstanding. I told you guys you're in, you are in for it today. All right, next up, CJ, what are your thoughts on this increase? Uh, I mean, I hear Steve. I really do. Um, I think this is absolutely crazy. Uh, it doesn't make too much sense to me. I mean, I think this is a uh, – What's what's so what's the goal now? Like, are, are instead of a 750 800 credit score, you're supposed to aim for like 625 or like 640? I'm not like, I don't know what the rhyme or reason is uh, around the angle. I don't know that it's going to be good for the market either. Uh, we're taking the strongest home buyers and making it even harder in a rising interest rate environment for them to be able to qualify and buy houses. I don't know, man. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should be in Washington. I'll take RJ Bates the third in the titanium hat to Washington. Uh, he'll be the <laughs> lobbyist. You know, I'll I'll write the bills, and uh, we'll see what we can get figured out. Because I don't know if this is it, man. I'm not gonna lie; I'd vote for that ticket. I absolutely, <laughs> I would vote for that ticket all day, hands Me down. Too. All, right, all right, RJ, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> if you woke up on 420 today. And you didn't know if you needed to pay your credit card bill. <laughs> <laughs> you needed to go buy something for 420 paraphernalia or just something. Uh, the, the answer is you can just ignore that credit card bill because you're going to get a better rate by not paying it and having a lower credit score. I mean, I, one thing I think that stood out to me was is this is the first time that the LLPA has been adjusted since 2009. I just... I don't know what that means other than I know what was going on in 2009. So I found that to be a little bit strange. Um, but I, this is just like Steve said and CJ said, this is asinine. I, I can't believe that we're going to literally penalize people for being more responsible with their money. Very valid points. Leon, what about you? What are your thoughts? <clears throat> Well, since it is 420, I, I, in reading this, you guys know how I like to be informed. And while reading this, I thought to myself <laughs> on 420 that someone had to be high to, <laughs> to write this legislation. Like, I, I thought to myself, hold on, we're going to penalize people that have good credit. I came into the show pre-show and I had to ask Matt. I was like, I, am I confused here? Because am I reading this the wrong way? Because it doesn't make sense to me. So someone writing this, there's a re reason for it. Drugs may be involved, probably, you know, probably some other things as well. But, you know, the, the question, if we're looking at, you know, the, the first part of the question is a good for a buyer pool. And if we're going to relate this back to our audience, you know, if you are, you know, someone that's wholesaling or retail flipping, you know, you probably are going to benefit from the standpoint of, you know, that, that buyer that is in that, you know, first time home buyer. Um, Matt made it, made the point that this is currently conventional and more than likely FHA and Fannie will follow. So with that said, if you're looking for, you know, a buyer pool that this may be good for, it's that individual that's the first time home buyer.